talk about residents, attracting them and retaining them. And Audrey, if you'll come up, uh, please. Audrey Ansel is the manager of resident attraction and retention here at CK. Audrey comes by way of uh, Dublin, Ireland, and I love your accent, Audrey, by the way. Um, but thank you for, you know, literally moving here with her family to advance her career and, and reside in Chatham, Kent. And I think you have lots to share with us this evening. For sure, and I don't want to go into too much about me, but suffice to say that I moved to Chatham Kent with my family, and neither I nor my husband had jobs to come to, so we chose Chatham Kent. That was our reason for coming here. Um, nevertheless, <clears throat> I have the easiest job in the world some days, because it's my role to actually promote um, this community and showcase how great this community is. And some days that's really, really easy, because we just have to show images like this, where we showcase our quality of life, um, the fact that you can be um, at the shore relatively quickly, relatively easily, of course, when I'm getting into talking about house prices and how they compare with other areas uh, in Ontario, Chatham Kent last year, the average house price was just under $149,000. Compare that to Toronto, over half a million dollars. So, you know, an, in simple math, um, very, very easy sell there. Um, when we get into talking about climate in Chatham Kent, and we all know that the, you know, while the last winter what may not have been the best in the world, generally you can still be golfing here in November time. Um, whereas further north, um, some of those temperatures aren't conducive to being outdoors at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Then, of course, when we speak to um, people choosing to be outdoors and being active and doing things and doing things with their life, you know, we have so many community groups that have sprung up in the past number of years to get people out and get them active and get them connected to the community. Um, so that's the fitness side of things. Of course, our culture and our arts in some respects are second to none, and we're a very vibrant and active arts community. So some days the, the sell is very, very easy until we talk about jobs. And when we surveyed our young people back in 2012 in the CK survey of young people, um, unsurprisingly, the number one thing that they spoke about, regardless of the question that they were asked throughout that survey was, employment was the most important thing in deciding where you're going to live. It's not rocket science at all, we obviously know that. However, number two on there was also young people identifying that um, a safe place for raising children was very important to them and affordability of the community and obviously those previous slides there with house prices speak to that. Um, of note I think in the survey was the fact that our young people identified that postgraduate opportunities for students with limited experience were relatively limited in Chatham Kent but once you actually built up some experience there were a number of opportunities for you in this community particularly when you're adding in the fact the idea of maybe buying a house, settling down, having a family, and for some, returning home. Um, that means that our work is very much promote, uh, focused on promoting the opportunities that there are here for employment, uh, and working with employers to help them fill um, the, the skills gaps that they have and the employment opportunities that they have. Um, as Dean and a number of people have spoken about the ideas for entrepreneurship, and again, that is a, a promotional opportunity for us. Come to Chatham Kent and start your business here. Um, definitely, a, a, you know, the images you see on the screen in front of you there are real entrepreneurs in our community. They're not uh, images that we've pulled from the internet from somewhere else. They are real entrepreneurs in our community. And speaking about entrepreneurship, I think you really need look no further than uh, some of our tourism providers for true entrepreneurship in the community, true job creating opportunities. An image there of Bayside Brewery, and I'm just going to quickly flick through some of these. Bayside Brewery. Um, Colin Kreiser there from our Erio Wakeboard School, you know, a young person who's come back to this community and created an opportunity for himself. Um, Early Acres Estate Wines, recently recognized by the Chatham Kent Chamber of Commerce as a feature industry of the month, employing a family there. Um, so again, that entrepreneurship, the idea that you can do it in Chatham Kent is something that we very actively promote. And of course, these are all tourism drivers to our community as well. Our grown in CK labeling, which most people have, uh, I hope, seen by now. Again, driven by our agri-development and the, the unique selling points that Chatham has. What are we good at? What are we unique at doing? Agriculture is obviously one of those. So agri-tourism is potentially a big area for us. And when we, when we see events like the CK Table, which was held very recently, again, drawing promotional um, focus on Chatham Kent and the things that we can offer that are very unique and that make us unique. Um, of course, our Black History offering is second to none. Again, it brings people into this community whereby they can avail of um, you know, the black history and all other offerings and creating jobs uh, in the meantime. So the point being there really that tourism is a key economic driver um, in our community, uh, has potential to create a significant amount of jobs, particularly if we're talking about being more entrepreneurial like some of those um, images that we showed there. Um, 
very quickly going into that whole education piece and Christy finished up with the educational attainment levels in this community. Education is also is a, obviously a key driver for our workforce and the quality of our workforce, but it's also an, a, a, a key resident attraction retention area too. And St. Clair College this year has been very active in, well, for the past number of years, been very active in promoting uh, coming to Cheltenham Kent to study in overseas markets and their numbers of international students that they are attracting um, are growing very, very rapidly from all over the globe really. So again, creating spin-off opportunities in our community that ultimately feed into jobs. Um, so jobs are very important, we all recognise that and I wouldn't hate for anyone to think that we, we didn't think that was the case, it is, but quality of life is also very important. So the word cloud that you can see on the screen there is are the words that our young people chose to describe Chatham Kent and with the exception of the word boring um, really the, the, the words that our young people are choosing at being safe clean beautiful you know these aren't words that were made up by somebody these were our young people saying what they felt about Chatham Kent so their words not mine um, so people come back to Chatham Kent for a variety of reasons including many of those words there but I think I'll leave you with this video, which some of you may have seen before. It's our Back to Chatham Kent video. It's an initiative about connecting with people who have come back to Chatham Kent, like Dean and his wife, but it's also an initiative to connect with our young people before they leave, so that they leave this community as ambassadors for our community. Um, so hopefully at some point they will come back to cultivate their families here and entrepreneurship opportunities. So our Back to uh, Chatham Kent video uh, it says all of this and more uh, in more eloquent terms than I can. <laughs>